get that absolutely battered by the wind. It is absolutely so windy. The new Autel Evo Nano Plus might be the absolute drone of choice when it comes to the camera specifications, but how does it actually compare with the long-standing king of the skies, the DJI Mini 2, in a strong wind test? Let's find out. Now if you don't know by now, the DJI Mini 2 really is a king of the skies. What this drone can actually achieve when it comes to its wind performance and capabilities is absolutely second to none given the fact that it comes within that 249 gram bracket. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. But as most of you are aware, now we have a new contender. This comes in the shape of this, the Autel Evo Nano Plus, which comes with an absolutely phenomenal camera and by the way guys i've been flying this drone and my full long-term test will be coming soon and my full thoughts and one of the major things i'm really impressed with is the actual connection quality on this as well absolutely fantastic but up until now there has been quite a severe suggestion by many users and of course youtubers alike that this thing is actually rubbish in the wind and to be perfectly honest i've seen quite a lot of evidence of that there are many youtubers including my friend Henrik Olsen at Tech Drone Media that have shown exactly that this drone doesn't actually do as good as what it should do, especially compared to the DJI Mini 2. But that was before Auto Robotics launched the latest firmware where they actually fixed some of this issue and allowed us an additional option within the Auto Sky app to basically allow us this greater speed uh, full on sport mode to be able to fully bring out the performance that this drone is actually capable of. Now many of you that are actually long term viewers of the channel know that I love to film ships on the banks of the river Humber and that causes a few problems. Basically it is always windy. And whilst this drone might have an absolutely fantastic camera, what is the point if I don't have the confidence to be able to take this drone up out in the air, over the water, in these strong windy conditions, especially when I've already got the DJI Mini 2, which we already know does an absolutely fantastic job. So I have tried to devise a little test, which I'm going to show you on this video, where I have gone and flown on the banks of the Humber, and I have done my best to bring an absolutely fantastic comparison video, where you should be able to judge both of these drones at the same time, to be able to see their outright wind resistance against each other. Now if I put the weather app up on the screen you will see that really the conditions that I was flying on today were about at the limit of what these two drones can actually cope with. You saw the little clip at the beginning of the video just to show how windy it is and what I will also do is at various points while I'm doing this voiceover I will just introduce some wind noise so you see just how blustery this actually was. But ultimately then Let's start the main part of the video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both drones up in the air and do them side by side split screen so you can see how they're going to cope. So let's roll it. And what I've decided to do is place a bag in the centre of the large slab of concrete and then what I've done is I've placed the crosshairs on both of these drones on within the app and then I'm going to tilt the gimbals 90 degree down so we have an absolutely fantastic reference point to see if these drones are actually blown off target. So first of all we've got the drones in position and they're about two meters to three meters off the ground and let me tell you even at this distance I'm getting absolutely blown all over but the drones are actually holding quite still. At five meters both of these seem to be holding absolutely fine with no real advantage to either of them really they both seem to be doing just as they should so let's raise these up to 10 meters then even at 10 meters both of these drones seem to be performing absolutely fantastic and of course ultimately you can judge for yourself what you think which one is performing the best now let's raise these up even more and we'll double it up to 20 meters at 20 meters this really is quite high 
high and honestly guys you know these drones are absolutely tilting like hell into the wind battling they're wailing along and really fighting uh, a good fight let's try and fly into the wind then so first of all we're going to fly off with the dji mini 2 and we're going to head off and we'll just see what top speed we can actually pick up and if you can see we're sort of looking around that two and a half to three and a half meters per second however very quickly then as another gust comes we are very abruptly pushed to almost just half a meter per second forward and unfortunately at this moment in time the dji mini 2 cannot make any more ground forwards so it's time to land the dji mini 2 and now what we're going to do is just press on with the autel evo nano so following straight on from the test we're going to fly out and just see how good it can actually battle the wind so moving forwards then you can see the flight speed is actually a little bit less than the dji mini 2 but ultimately it is not being blown off course and it is not being blown backwards we are still making slow and steady progress but like i said guys this these conditions are absolutely right up to the limits of these drones as you can see um i'm getting blown about a bit let alone these drones up at 20 meters high now a little bit of a lapse in the actual wind allows us to push on a little bit further with the Autel but ultimately both of these drones have just done absolutely perfectly. Right seriously guys I've just had both of those I'm getting absolutely battered by the wind it is absolutely so windy I mean seriously like oh, it's absolutely just blowing me and sticking to me so yeah it's incredibly windy and both of those just did fantastic so let's pick it back up in the studio so weighing up everything you have just seen on this video i have to say that whilst this dji mini 2 continues to improve press a lot of the worries and uh, concerns regarding this Autel Nano Plus for me seem to be a little bit misled. This thing seemed to perform perfectly equally in my honest opinion for the most part against the DJI Mini 2. There was a couple of incidents of course where it didn't quite get the initial speed um, that the Mini 2 did when I was actually flying into the wind but um, sometimes I do make mistakes and actually what you saw on screen was the second run from this drone what actually happened on the first run is I forgot to press my screen recorder um, and on that run it actually did get to a similar sort of speed as what the DJI Mini 2 did um, so yeah a little bit of a user error there at the end of the day it didn't get pushed back and ultimately the point of this test would I trust this drone as much as I trust the DJI Mini 2 over the Humber to be able to go out out and film some ships and have full confidence that this drone would be able to return back to me safely the answer is yes so as usual please do hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're awesome until next time thank you very much for watching and see you again soon